Passage 15. Struggle for Freedom. It is not possible for me to express all that I feel of appreciation for what has been said and given to me. I accept for myself. With the conviction of having received far beyond what I have been able to give in my books, I can only hope that the many books which I have yet to write will be in some measure a worthier acknowledgement. Than I can make tonight, and indeed, I can accept only in the same spirit in which I think this gift was originally given. That it is a prize, not so much for what has been done. As for the future, whatever I write in the future must, I think, be always benefited and strengthened when I remember this day. I accept too, for my country, the United States of America. We are a people still young, and we know that we have not yet come to the fullest of our powers. This award, given to an American, strengthens not only one, but the whole body of American writers. Were encouraged and heartened by such generous recognition, and I should like to say too that in my country it is important that this award has been given to a woman. You who have already so recognized your own Selma Lagerlof, and have long recognized women in other fields, cannot perhaps wholly understand what it means in many countries that it is a woman who stands here. At this moment, but I speak not only for writers and for women, but for all Americans, for we all share in this. I should not be truly myself if I did not, in my own wholly unofficial way. Speak also of the people of China, whose life has, for so many years, been my life also, whose life, indeed, must always be a part of my life. The minds of my own country and China. My foster country are alike in many ways, but above all, alike in our common love of freedom. And today, more than ever, this is true. Now, when China's whole being is engaged. In the greatest of all struggles, the struggle for freedom.
I've never admired China more than I do now. When I see her uniting, as she has never before, against the enemy who threatens her freedom. With this determination for freedom, which is in so profound a sense the essential quality in her nature, I know that she is unconquerable. Freedom. It is today more than ever the most precious human possession. We, Sweden and the United States, we have it still. My country is young, but it greets you with a peculiar fellowship, you whose earth is ancient and free.